Hey guys, Ivan here, and we got another death in bodybuilding. I don't even know how to start these videos anymore. I mean, this is happening way too often. Neil Curry, Neil Curry passed away at the age of 34, very young age of 34. The cause of death is allegedly suicide. That's what everybody keeps saying on social media. Unfortunately, I don't have any more information, but the entire Instagram, the entire bodybuilding community, everybody is sharing this. So yeah, Neil Curry passed away by taking his own life away. If you guys don't know who he was, uh, I knew about him because of Fuad Abiyad's podcast. He was sponsored by the, by the Hostile and he was on the podcast many times. Uh, he was coached by Ben Chow. Poor Ben, man. I mean, Luke Sand also took his own life and now Neil Curry. They were coaching client, but I think they were kind of close. So Neil Curry won the New York Pro in Classic Physique. He qualified for the Mr. Olympia. He did the Mr. Olympia last year in Classic Physique, but it wasn't really him at his... 100% because he was way too big for classic physique in the offseason but somehow he managed to make the weight and then he decided to do the offseason to try and to grow as much as possible and compete in open bodybuilding and when I saw that he died I immediately assumed that it had something to do with him trying to bulk up trying to gain the weight for bodybuilding division but apparently, uh, I mean, allegedly, it was a suicide. I have no idea what could be the reason. I was, again, watching him on the podcast, and he seemed so laid back. He seemed so chill, so relaxed. I would never assume that he suffered from any kind of anxiety or depression or anything like that. But I guess you can't really tell too much about a person from a podcast. You know, privately, he probably had some issues. And I don't know what it was. Um, I, I do bodybuilding. I'm, I'm a competitor myself. And I know that in the off-season, when you're really trying to put on the weight, when you isolate yourself from the world, when all you do is eat, train, and sleep, if you don't have, you know, a great support system, a great emotional support by your partner, for example, or your family, it can be challenging. It could be really, really tough. So, I mean, I don't know what kind of problems he had. Maybe he had something way more serious. We don't know. Maybe it wasn't even a suicide. I mean, this is not a fact. This is what is circling around on other bodybuilding media outlets. So many people who, who knew him personally also shared this. And they're all saying it's suicide. So, I mean, it's gotta be. It can't, it can't be anything else. So, yeah. Who the hell knows what was in his head. What kind of problems he had. Unfortunately, today we lost a great bodybuilder. He could have done really well, I think, in open bodybuilding. I think he had the structure for it. I think he had, like, really wide shoulders, really, you know, bubbly kind of physique. I think he would have done really well in open bodybuilding. He had a really impressive classic physique, too, but his vision was open bodybuilding. Unfortunately, he didn't get to fulfill that. We didn't get to, to see what that would look like. I'm sure it would look outstanding, but his classic physique look was also really, really impressive. Again, unfortunately, very unfortunately, we lost a great bodybuilder today. He will be missed by the bodybuilding community. Neil Curry, may he rest in peace.